All right, boys, welcome back to No Sim Saturdays, where we show you what not to do or what to do with women. Before we dive into the video, always remember, the best move on the chessboard is rarely ever to simp. Quick warning, the female delusion is going to be very strong in today's episode. Okay, so you think you're a 10? Yeah. Don't I think I'm fucking gorgeous. Don't, I think I'm perfect. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You're not Please a 10. Please lay it on me. You're, you're not a 10. Okay, that's just your opinion. I'm, I'm not going to rate you, but you're not a 10. Okay, you're not great, me, and that's just your opinion. Tens have modeling contracts. Okay. Like, Are you saying that that's not something that I could have? Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying. The problem with society these days is girls are delusional because they are told that they are tens and they are perfect just as they are by a bunch of simps and all of the girl mates. All of her friends aren't going to say, no, listen, you're a freak. They're going to say, no, girl, you're a ten. Believe in yourself. It's all about personality. So there's never any accountability. Whereas if men grow up doing the same thinking that we're perfect, we get left behind in society. And speaking of getting left behind in society, the last thing you want to become is an incel like this guy. What do you have to offer? As of now, nothing. I don't have a job. I am ugly. So my value right now is zero. Have you approached many women? Oh, many. And what was the result? Rejection 100% of the time. I would start talking to a girl, and immediately she would give me fuck off signals. She would, you know, pull out her cell phone, just start texting her friends and just hope I would go away. Uh, I don't approach that much anymore because, you know, I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. How do you, did you count in real life? I'm approximating. Uh, that's not a real word, we're redoing that. <laughs> Ask a question again. I aim as low as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. You know, I aim for the bottom of the barrel because, you know, I, I realize that I'm ugly. Pretty boys get women. Like your sound guy. And it's just you know, turn it to him, he's like, yeah, yeah. Turn it to him, you <laughs> know? See, he gets women because, see, I, I knew the moment I looked at him that he's not incel. I'm jealous. That's not being funny, but he's not even really that ugly. She said, what value do you have to offer women? He said, nothing, zero. He said, he's ugly and hasn't got a job. And as the comment at the top of the video says, you'll try anything apart from go to the gym and lose weight. The thing that's ugly about you is your attitude. You can see how you are judging the woman who's interviewing you. To be fair, he might actually be on the spectrum and have some sort of built-in genetic social awkwardness. If you've truly approached a thousand women and got rejected by every single one, then there's something wrong with your approach. As I say, you're not really that ugly. You know me, I'm not a big proponent of steroids. But imagine if this lad got juiced up, super jacked, chopped that stupid wig off and actually got a decent haircut, bit of a tan and took some charisma courses and also got a job. His value would go up immensely. You no, know, he probably sits there playing video games all day, talking to other incels about how much they hate women and it's all women's fault. Get out into the world and achieve something, lad. Cut your hair and get jacked. And if anyone else wants to get jacked, check out the links down below. I got you covered. Basically, stop being a little bitch and become more masculine. Hey, you. Your masculinity isn't toxic. Your masculinity is actually the sexiest thing about you and all of those women talking about the dangers of masculinity are the same women that are going to be 40 alone with a cat so do me a favor stop listening to them embrace your masculinity and remember it's 2023 if i wanted a beta i could just go date a chick well put, said by an attractive girl. That soft, feminine, humble energy is so much more attractive than all these boss babes who think that they're perfect just as they are and that they don't need no man because they're a 10. I think if you're ever going to rate yourself, you should always rate yourself a 10 because you become more attractive when you hear <laughs> how a person thinks. 10. Okay, change. so you're a 10. Yeah. Okay, she's a 10. I have some uh, makeup remover here. If... Does anybody want to revise their answer that's a good one remove the makeup and all will be revealed listen lads when you've been with enough girls sometimes you'll wake up the next day and you'll be like oh damn you look different from last night that's only happened once to me but one time too many i don't even call it makeup anymore i just call it face paint you know when you see kids running around birthday parties and they've got a clown on the face or a tiger that's what i say look at the makeup on here looks like she's asked for the tiger at the kids birthday party you should always see yourself as a tent all men are 10s, I all think, women are Yeah, 10s. I think everyone should believe themselves to be a 10. I so think everyone... every guy should even be like, I'm that dude. Like, Wait, so I got it like that. Every single human on earth is equivalent attractiveness? No, I, now you you're talking literal. If you're going to ask me, if you're going to ask someone. <laughs> that's what, that's the question. No, uh, but I don't okay, think. Okay, literally what you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. I literally feel like. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your figuratively 1 to 10 and then your literally 1 to 10. No, I'm going to say 10. I refuse. Figuratively or literally? Both of them. 
If everyone's a 10, no one's a 10. Girl, you are not a 10. The other one's pretty. She looks like about a 7. You can't really tell. But if you want to rate yourself, it is not based on personality. It is rating your looks. Stop living in fantasy land. Because, I mean, there's a difference between confidence and thinking that you're on par with the most beautiful women in the world who are supermodels and on the front of magazine covers. Yeah. So I'm not a 10 because I'm not on a magazine cover? Well, you could, you could be... You could be a 10 and not be a model. However, if you're a 10, you are as attractive as women who are the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah, who and are I models. am a 10. <laughs> I think, yeah, I believe I'm a 10. Look at me, I'm a catch. Don't you think it's a bit of uh, hubris? Why do you want me to rate myself lower? Absolutely delusional. Think of the most beautiful women in the world. If you want to look at, say, the Victoria's Secret models, for example, these are women whose attractiveness is objectively closer to a 10. Not these random fives and sixes who are going on these podcasts. All the tens in the world are on yachts and in the VIP section in Ibiza, getting grands and grands spent on them and getting flown out to Dubai by all these shakes. She's a four, but she doesn't talk much. She's a seven. She's a six, but she has her own company. She's a five. She's a 10, but her body count is double digits. Can I go lower than zero? If she doesn't talk much, then yeah, that bumps her points up a little bit because as men, we just want to relax. Most of the time when women are talking, they're always coming up with problems and how they're going to make your day worse and putting baggage on you. Where are you going? What are you doing? What time are you back? Where have you been? How does this work? Well, what are you going to do about that? Oh, I've got this problem, that problem. We want to be with you, but we also want silence. And if you're a girl and you have your own business, your own company, and you're a boss babe, once again, it's just extra drama that the man doesn't want to come home to. He wants to come home, have peace and quiet and relax. He doesn't want to come home to hear about all your problems that you've had in your business that day and if she's a 10 but her body count is in the double digits then i'm sorry don't want to know and don't lie lads you know if you meet a girl and she's got a high body count you don't like it deep down you can lie and pretend that you don't care but secretly deep down you do thanks for tuning in to no sim saturdays here are some other episodes if you're new to the channel check out some of my other content we upload every single day and it's just all man type content fitness relationship lifestyle business money calling men and women out on the delusion nice one so i'll see you tomorrow